Hi, Roger here with Weathering Heights. I uh, just want to call your attention to a very impressive uh, storm system that's uh, centered off the coast. This is a very strong area of low pressure. It's located uh, well off the coast of California right now. It's going to take a track toward the coast and eventually weaken. But some of the rain bands are extremely impressive. They're producing all sorts of things. We've got flooding conditions. We've got high winds. We've even got some rotating supercells. That's what these little triangles are. Uh, notice a couple of them here over toward Ventura County, sort of uh, east of Santa Barbara, northwest of L.A. Um, on the coastal areas, we're seeing uh, quite a bit of wind gusts as well, um, throughout the region even. And uh, some of these areas around San Francisco, uh, back into uh, Silicon Valley, um, continue to see quite a bit of uh, flooding rains. And uh, these bands moving in very quickly and wrapping in around an area of low pressure centered off to the west. Uh, California is getting inundated. Of course, this also means some pretty impressive snows for the Sierra Nevada that will be taking place uh, a little bit later on. But this storm system, much needed rainfall. Unfortunately, once this storm goes on by, it looks like you're back into drought conditions. And here's a quick look at some rain bands uh, off the California coast. And of course, these things are dying out. Typically, it's what happens this time of the day anyway. But would not be surprised if there's more thunderstorm activity with some of these storms associated with this uh, particular setup. Okay, looking at the rest of the country, this is the uh, 850 millibar uh, temperature anomalies to give you a really good idea where it's hot, where it's cold, where it's going to remain hot, what the trends are, as such. Um, of course, we're looking at the first week of March pretty much in the basement here. We are looking at very, very cold temperatures. And uh, this is the current conditions. You see the temperatures are running. Uh, greater than 20 degrees below normal. And again, this is about 4,000 feet aloft, uh, roughly about Mount Mansfield's level. And you can see where the coldest weather is. It stretches basically across uh, parts of Canada and uh, a little bit south of Hudson Bay. That's associated with the portal of Vortex and continues to kind of blow in. I'm going to run the, uh, the model here. This is every 24 hours. And you can see what it does. Some of it goes off a little bit to the west and to the uh, western prairies of Canada. Uh, meanwhile, it goes off to the east, kind of uh, uh, begins to uh, warm up just a little bit, some moderation. Now, this is uh, actually uh, what we're going to see basically on Saturday. So we actually get out of this uh, cold anomaly into closer to se seasonal norms, and hence that's why you're looking at the white. Of course, this is above normal, below normal temperatures here. So keeping an eye on that, um, then we're back into the cold here. It's a little bit to our north, and it kind of just sort of settles in and will not relent. Again, we're talking most of next week being this way. But by the time we get toward uh, Tuesday and into Wednesday of next week, we start to see it whittle out a little bit. It starts to moderate. And uh, the source of that cold air, the Canadian prairies, is starting to warm up a little bit. And also some of those specific storms that are affecting uh, uh, the West Coast, um, basically after that, it looks like a little bit of a warming trend moving into the Rockies. So there's some hope uh, ahead here. Uh, as we get into some moderation, we're back into the white, meaning close to seasonal norms, and that's uh, approximately Thursday night or uh, Friday, and then this continues to uh, be the case, it looks like, as we head into next week. Now, this is the European Ensemble. It's a pretty good forecast model to look at to kind of see where our trends are. Seeing a little bit of green on the East Coast is good. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights Consulting.